हजरत सैयदे बुलते आदम Assalamu alaikum and peace be upon you. Welcome back to MTA USA Studios where we are broadcasting live from day two of the 68th annual Jalsa Salana USA. Here in the studio I am joined by Imam Shamshad Nasir Saib who we're going to speak with about Hazur's message from yesterday, the activities that are going around his area of Chicago and also what Humanity First is doing in that area and what's going on with the program that he's in charge of overall. Uh, Asalaamu Alaikum Imam Sahib. Alaikum Asalaamu Alaikum Asalaamu Thank you for joining us. Jazakallah. And we heard a very powerful message from Hazura. What are some points from that that really struck you? This is very true that our Jalsa is blessed and by the grace of Allah yesterday respected Amir Sahib, Sahib Zahid Mirza Makhura Sahib read a very very important and happy um, uh, message from our beloved Imam Hazrat Khalifa Tul Musil Khamis, Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Asil Aziz. And I thought I will uh, read a uh, few lines from that. Uh, for instance, uh, Hazur said that with the grace of Allah, the U.S. Jamaat collectively has always maintained a relationship of loyalty and obedience with Khilafat Ahmadiyya. And the spirit continues to increase in your Jamaat. Whilst there are many members of Pakistani origin, there are also a significant number of local Americans and African Americans. And Alhamdulillah, the Ahmadis from all of these different backgrounds have upheld a bond of loyalty and faithfulness with Khilafat. Now this is a very big compliment, but it's also a very big responsibility. Right, that, that is coming to that. Hazur also mentioned in his message, which is read yesterday, that always remember that the stronger your bond with the Khilafat is, the stronger your spiritual progress and the stronger the foundation of your Jamaat. So I think uh, in this uh, two lines, Hazur has mentioned responsibility of our Jamaat that we should stay in touch, stay, remain loyal uh, to the Khilafat Ahmadiyya for our all progress. Now how can we do that? What are some basic steps? You know, basic step is as Zur is reminding uh, many times to the member of the Jamaat, number one, that they should listen to Khutbat of Hazur every Friday and other addresses. This is number one. Okay. Number two, we should uh, ask our family also to join with that. Not only ourselves, but our family and children as well. Then Hazur also said thirdly that uh, there is a MTA programs mm -hmm. and uh, members of the Jamaat individually and collectively they should uh, um, 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 remain um, uh, attached with the MTA program every day at least one hour they should listen to the MTA. Then other thing is that I can uh, um, um, request that we should uh, write a letters also to Khalifa Masi for our all progress. Uh, sometime when we are sick or we are in trouble, we are in problems, we write to Khalifa al Masih for prayer, of course that we should do. But not only for that, when we are happy, when we are getting any success or our children um, are getting any happy things or good in any um, academic um, 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 field, we are should inform Hazur for prayer and that we should send him some good uh, news as well. And uh, the other things I can express here, explain here that, that tarbiyat and uh, tabligh is important. And uh, Hazur prays for those people who are trying in their tabligh activities and tarbiyat. Okay. So this is also one way that we can uh, inform Hazur our activities and he will be happy and will be praying for us. Now, with regards to letters, some people, you know, uh, humble themselves such that they say, I don't want to send Hazur a letter and, because Hazur is so busy. I don't want to have to preoccupy his time. No, Hazur said that this is not the right thinking. Allah Ta'ala has given him such a power, strength that he will do everything by the grace of Allah. And nobody should think that because, oh, if I write this thing. No, it will, it will make you to remain attached with the Khilafat. You establish your personal relationship with Khilafat. And this is important for our spiritual progress as well. 
and individual progress and the community progress and other things in Shah. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, so this is a great message that our loyalty with uh, a Khilafat is strong here in America and we can't get lazy yeah. on that initiative. And regarding initiatives, we have some. The other thing just now came in our mind yeah. that as Huzur is saying, uh, how we can uh, uh, remain uh, attached with the Khilafat and loyalty with the Khilafat that each khutbah, what Hazur is talking about, namaz ba jamaat, namaz ba jamaat, salat in congregation, if your house is far from the masjid, then with the community around your people, two, three homes, who are closed, they can get together. If there's nobody around you, then say namaz, salat in congregation right. at home, with your wife, with your children, so that will also make that you are obeying commandment of Allah the sunnah of the Holy Prayer some, and as well as instruction from the Khalifa al Musi for our spiritual progress. You know, something new that's come out in uh, recent years is uh, Abid Khan Saab's diaries mm -hmm. of his travels with uh, Hazur and what he observes and everything. And it's been such a powerful tool for the youth and for all members of the Jamaat to see Hazur's day-to-day -day life. And uh, whenever somebody writes to Hazur, you know, I read Abed Khan Saab's diary, I really enjoyed these points. I think Hazur really enjoys and appreciates that as well. Of course, of course, there's no doubt in it. Now, we're, uh, we're getting ready for some Chicago projects. What's happening there? Yes, Alhamdulillah, that a uh, few years back uh, in Chicago, um, Jamaat has purchased a big school. Mm. And uh, by the grace of Allah, a lot, a, a large, a lot of activities are going on there, in that school. Mostly, we are uh, working for humanity first in that. Okay. And uh, number two, we are making there a big, huge library for the Jamaat. Mm. And uh, for the Tabli activities or for the humanity first, it is also taking place in a manner that uh, uh, we are holding their uh, um, kitchen soup. Mm. And uh, it will be done and uh, alhamdulillah that uh, neighbors they are very interested yeah. and they are respectful because Ahmadiyya Muslim community, the oldest community, Muslim community in the United States and that was the headquarter of Hazrat Mufti Muhammad Sadiq okay. Sahib Razi Allah Ta'ala Anho and we have Masjid Baitu Sadiq as well, we have missionary also um, uh, there by the grace of Allah. So I think uh, that school will serve a lot for the neighborhood, for the Chicago and for our Jamaat purpose also. So now recently we are uh, trying and uh, we are making effort to open a small um, primary school in Masjid Baitul Jami also, but it is still on a primary um, um, base and uh, uh, inshallah ta'ala we are working on, on those lines also. So in, this is 2016 right now, we're four years away from the centenary celebration of Jamaat Ahmadiyya yeah, uh, in America. Salana, uh, yeah. uh, so Chicago is leading the way for some amazing yeah, projects. Inshallah ta'ala in 2020, we will be holding the Chicago Jalsa Salana in Chicago and respecting our beloved Imam Has Khalif al Masih, Ayatollah bin Asli's arrival also there, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. Now, Imam Sab, at this Jalsa, you serve as a naive officer of the program, the stage, the backdrop. How is that, how's, how has it all come together? You know, <coughs> the Jalsa, mashallah, as a, um, uh, Hazur is mentioned many times, the Jalsa became the truth of the Muslim of Salat al-Islam also. And uh, Jalsa program and Jalsa things uh, doesn't start in one week or two weeks uh, prior to the Jalsa. Alhamdulillah, Jalsa Salana USA, we are working for three months prior to the Jalsa, especially for the program. Then we have a committee for that who sit and uh, then um, see the theme of the Jalsa, what will be the theme of the Jalsa, then who will be the speakers of the Jalsa, what should be the topic of the Jalsa. A huge time is taken just for the speeches, topics and preparation for those that what the speaker should have to say, what important points should be given to them, synapses for the speeches. Now, so we should this, this theme is Hadi, how did, that, how did that come? Because this is the time for that, because this is the time for the age of the Prophet Messiah and yesterday Hazur's khutbah you can see that uh, and the theme uh, in our um, backdrop is written that uh, Vakta vakti masiha na kisi aur ka vakt Mayna aata to koi aur hi aya hota This is the time, it's the demand of the time That Messiah should come, he should guide the people And in fact uh, when we talk with other people e Even a few days ago I read the news uh, In the Pakistani newspaper That they say Messiah should come now Imam Mahdi should be appeared now Because the condition is going on of, of the world right now uh, It demands needs of the hour and uh, we are the blessed, Hazur said yesterday's khutbah that we are blessed that, that Alhamdulillah we have accepted the Imam of the age 
and uh, it is our responsibility to convey this message to other people also. And in fact, uh, if you read the uh, read or listen the addresses of Hazur about the peace which he delivered to many countries, their parliaments and uh, uh, other places and uh, Alhamdulillah that uh, people are uh, uh, understanding that this is the only community which is uh, providing peace and this is the real Islamic teaching because no any other organi Muslim organization or um, uh, denomination can prove that because see, see what is happening in the world right now. Turkey Hazur mentioned yesterday. There is no justice among the Muslims in Islamic countries as well. So I think that uh, this is the time and uh, we are blessed that we accepted the Imam of the age and the responsibility of the um, Ahmadiyya Muslim community in America is huge that we should uh, proceed and uh, forward and uh, um, work tirelessly for the propagation of the religion of Islam, teaching of Islam and prove that uh, the Khilafat Ahmadiyya, this is exactly what is the need of this time to promote peace and spread the real teaching of Islam this time. Inshallah, inshallah. So that is what we heard from Imam Shamshatsa. We heard about the points from Hazur's message yesterday. We heard about what's awesome going on in Chicago. And we also heard about the stage preparation and uh, the theme of the Jalsa. Now we're going to watch some videos about Jalsa preparation. So stay tuned and enjoy the next video. Asalaamu As Alaikum.